I don't think I know how you and Damien met. I don't know. And here's this wonderful collaboration. Damien Chazelle, of course, the director, your partner in crime of yeah. all your movies. Yeah. First Man, La La Land, Whiplash. Yeah. Guy and Madeline. Guy, Guy and Madeline. Madeline. Yep. Um, we, we met first week of freshman year of, of college. Um, I, for some reason, thought I should be in a band. I thought that was the thing to do. I mean, I... I I was I went to study composition and I wanted to be a film composer, but I got also the idea of well being in a band would be fun. So I I was going around asking everybody um, in the freshman class, are you a musician or do you know a musician? <laughs> I was just trying to meet musicians to start a band with, and um, I got this tip that there's this guy. Somebody said there's this guy in my dorm named Damien Chazelle. He was like one of the best jazz drummers in the country, best high school jazz drummers in the country. Um, he won all these competitions in high school, and you should meet him. So I just called him up cold, and I said he picked up his phone. If he hadn't picked up that first call, maybe we never would have met. I don't know if I would have tried him back. But um, he picked up, and I introduced myself and said I was looking to start a band, and I had found a couple of other people. I think there was a guitarist and a bass player who wanted to play, and um, and he, he was up for it. So we got together, and we played, and we did start the band, um, and you did what? What did you play? I played piano, keyboard. Um, I played like a Fender Rhodes some of the time, like a piano some of the time. What was the name of the band? It's called Chester French. Oh, you're in Chester French. That's right. That's how D. A. Wallach. Yeah. Ends up in the movie. Yeah, D. A. plays the '80s <laughs> singer in the movie. Right. Um, in La La Land. Um, I so we were in it. Damien and I were in it before Chester French became anything that people would know basically the short version of it is we were in the band um we took it really seriously for about a year then some uh, in during sophomore year damien and i both quit the band around the same time just to focus on movies i mean we had like i said wanted to i had been thinking that i wanted to be a film composer he'd wanted to be a film director since he was a little kid so we knew we wanted to do movies and it just became clear sophomore year this band is taking up so much time and it's becoming less fun. We were all fighting with each other. You know, we're like, let's just, Damien and I were room, rooming together at that point. We decided to live together sophomore year. So we were like, let's just focus on movies. So we quit the band and they kept going. The, the remaining guys kept going with it and writing new songs and, and, and recording. And senior year, they, by themselves, with no agent, manager, lawyer, anything, they started a bidding war between all of the major labels um, Kanye West offered them their first deal, then Pharrell offered wow. them a deal, and then all the major labels jumped in. And, and I remember we were still in school. We were seniors, and they were getting flown off every weekend to be courted <laughs> oh, no. by moguls. They were going to, like, Atlanta that one weekend and L.A. the next weekend, and then they were just going everywhere and coming back with, like, swag bags and oh, no. and and um how did you feel about that terrible terrible <laughs> I, I think we, we all felt terrible we were like that was a huge that was our chance this that is the next it. biopic move over <laughs> bohemian rhapsody <laughs> um it was really hard um because when you're in school or even for a while after school those first years uh you know you don't know what what you're doing if what you're doing is ever going to pay off if your a career is ever going to come from it and this was our band it's the same had the same name they had new songs we had no stake in it really at any point but it's it still felt like our band it was called the same thing and it was two of the same guys and they now had these big opportunities coming at them and it was really hard to not be a Oof. part of it were you going around going like you, you guys heard of that band I, <laughs> we started it just so you know <laughs> um, Former Chester French <laughs> yeah. member. It was the T-shirt. OG. 